You have to start tapping. You start tapping. You have to tap. Tap fast. Tap fast. Tap fast. Once you're done tapping. Oh my god. Am I, am I gonna lose? What's going on, my legion? Welcome back to the Minecraft add on showcase review. And today, we're looking at the Epic Fight mod or the Mythic Player add on. Now, this add on adds in, of course, fighting. Look at this. You see that? Literal fighting, and you are in third person mode. You could not change the perspective. The only way to change your perspective is with this in your inventory right here. Go ahead, click on that. Third person it. First person, you know what I mean. Put that in first person. You are now in first person. Pretty cool. You are running around. Your hand is kind of messed up, but this add on is still in beta. Anyways, getting started with everything right here. So, everything you see right here is the vanilla tools. So, gold hammer, gold sword, gold diamond, gold diamond, diamond sword, diamond hammer. All this stuff right here. Vanilla tools. These are the hoes. These three right here are the shovels, pickaxes, axes, and swords. Now the swords, unfortunately, they are very big. So go ahead and go back in third person and show you guys. These things are huge, right? You guys see this? And all the combos are the same for these weapons, unfortunately. For example, let's say I picked up this golden pickaxe. The combos will be the same. There we go, the same combo. Enough of that, I just wanted to show you guys the vanilla tools and how they looked. But, let's go ahead and get straight into the menu. Now, when you first load in, you'll be greeted with the menu saying male or female. Choose whatever you want. If you're a male, you get a male body. If you're female, you get a female body. And then the next thing in your menu is saying choose your race. You choose a race, either human or this one other race. I forgot the race name. But always choose the one other race. Because if you look up, you have a special ability. Look up and punch. Now, this ability will be really, really loud when you activate it. But you get mad strength, and then when you jump, you do a ground slam. Pretty cool. You do a big ground slam. And this lasts for like a good minute or so. So you're really fast. You're aggressive. You run through. You literally run through walls. Look at this. You can literally just run. If I, if I did this right now, right? You can literally. Oh, my God. Look. I'm running through everything right now. Walls, water, anything. Look at this. Nothing is standing in your way. Of course, until it runs out. Another thing to keep in mind too about this add-on, once you put on a full set of like any armor, you'll be given a slowness buff. Well, debuff. See, I'm, I'm running really slow right now, right? Really, really slow. I have slowness right now. But if I go ahead and take off the armor, I'm fast again. Pretty cool, pretty cool, right? Anyways, enough of that. Let's go ahead and get straight into the weapons. Now, for the weapons, we have a katana, a scythe, katana, spear, a one-headed diamond sword, a great sword, a dagger, these dual netherite swords are OP, a glaive, and we get to all this stuff later. But right now, look at this, katana. The katana is crazy. Look, look at these combos. Look at that. Yo, that's clean. Look at this. Pretty cool, pretty cool, right? And then another thing you can do too, if you look down and crouch and punch, you will activate a dodge. And if you crouch and look in some kind of direction, you will dodge. And you do have like a quick little cooldown, but you can dodge. And it's pretty cool too. You can also parry in this add-on too, but it's pretty hard to parry. All right, next up, we have a scythe. Okay, okay, okay. That's pretty cool, pretty cool, right? Right. Next, we have the spear. Yo, you throw the spear for your last hit. And I'm pretty sure, too, that spear does, like, mad amounts of damage. All right, so we have a husk over here, right? Let's go ahead and do the spear combo, right? Yeah, you throw your spear. Oh, my God. Does that kill? No, it doesn't kill. Four hit KO from sniping? You can literally just, like, snipe... And it doesn't despawn until it hits the floor. All right, next we have the one. Ooh, okay, look a little uh mini sword. Okay. All right. That's it. Okay, okay. We have the uh, the heavy sword, two handed. This yeah, this has the same combos as the bigger swords. You have a dagger which, which attacks really fast. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Up next, we have the glaive. Oh. 
Okay, that's a bit different. Alright, he like lunges it at you. Spins around and it finishes you off like a heavy combo down. Heavy down hit. Now these these dual swords are, are insane. Look at this. Look at that. That's insane, bro. Alright, so I hopped in survival, and once you hop in survival, your inventory will change to the top left of your screen, so we'll keep out for that. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to get a parry off. Getting a parry, it's very weird. You have to like keep on like spamming and block. There we go. Look at that parry. I just parried him. Then you go ahead and finish him off. So parrying, it's very weird. You have to time it perfectly. If not, just spam guard. For our next set of weapons, we have a halberd, a mace, a saber, a war axe, a war hammer, a rapier, a trident for Minecraft, and a big gun. So for the halberd, let's see what this does. Okay. Ooh, okay, that was, that was different, that was different. It does that, spins around. Alright, pretty cool, pretty cool, and you can also block with it too. So you can parry with almost every weapon in this add-on, but you just have to time it, like I said before. Alright, next weapon, we have the mace, right? Okay, you can block with it, okay. Oh, yo, that was clean! Yo, they are cooking with this add-on so far, bro. I would love to see a story get implemented in this. Saber. Ooh, okay, that's a little different. Okay. Alright, then we have the War Axe. Let me guess, same combos? Oh, no, okay. Heavy hit, heavy hit. Alright, bit different. War Hammer. Same thing, huh? Wait, no. Okay, that's a little different. Rapier. Okay, I thought it'd be fast. Okay, but it's not. The Trident. Oh, it's the same thing. Yo. You oh, okay, that's cool. Then up next, we have the big gun and the little gun, right? The first, small gun. Oh, dang, that is damage, I guess. Okay. Then big gun. This might be a bit loud, but... That was loud for me. Not sure if it was loud for you guys. But that is the big gun and little gun. Up next, we have the bow from this add-on. Alright. Charge it down. And this does actually decent damage. I wouldn't pick it over the regular bow though. Because like due to the drop-off this bow does have. That drop-off is pretty significant. Anyways, let's get to the shields, right? The shields. I'm pretty sure if you have a sword in your hand too. Yeah. Go ahead, crouch. You get resistance. You hear that when you crouch? Hold on. Turn off dodge. There you go. Look at this. You zoom in and everything too. Then when you're ready. There you go. Look at that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Same thing with this shield too. Go ahead and block everything. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Getting to the mobs, right? Getting to the mobs. Oh my God. Like these mobs are insane. Okay. The Ender Dragon has been reworked completely. It looks different. Oh my god, that was loud. The inner dragon has been reworked. He's cheese or he, whatever, is way different. It's got the Voidic dragon, right? Pretty cool. It doesn't have, like, it has new moves, a whole new move set, but it isn't that cool to show off. If you guys want to see the inner dragon's move, go ahead and fight her for yourself in the add on. Link down below. Let's go ahead and get rid of the dragon. There you go. Right now, I currently have strength 250, so I one shot everything pretty much. Now, for the thing we have been waiting for, for the thing we're here for, right? Not the wither just yet, but the second coolest thing in this add-on. When you see an Enderman, it will have a health bar. Enderman in this add-on counts as mini bosses, right? So you go up to Enderman, let's say you beat it down, you fight it, right? And then after it's done, it will be staggered for a bit. You go up to the Enderman, right? If you don't tap right away, he will knock you out and get their full health back and be aggroed on you. Now, let's say you do end up managing to hurt the Enderman, right? Go ahead, start tapping. You start tapping, you have to tap. Tap fast, tap fast, tap fast. Once you're done tapping, oh my God, am I, am I gonna lose? Once you're done tapping, the Enderman will die, get your XP and, oh my God. <laughs> when you're done tapping, you'll get your XP and a guaranteed Ender Pearl each time from what I've seen. We'll do it again. It should be guaranteed Ender Pearl. 
I'm tapping. Oh, he got it off. Okay. Good try, good try, good try, good try. There you go. All right. Oh my god, <laughs> bro, my finger is getting tired. Okay. There you go. Yep, there, look at that. Guaranteed Inner Pearl. Now, for the thing we all have been waiting for, this add on the wither. The oh, <laughs> this thing looks insane. Watch this. You see this? He's coming out of the floor. Bro! Look at that! Now, for the first phase of the wither, the first phase of the wither is pretty easy. This wither has like under like what under 200 health, one like under 150 health. So it's pretty easy to kill in its first phase. Once you kill it, watch this. A whole cutscene happens, bro. This is actually insane. This is so crazy, bro. Oh my oh Dude. This is actually so cool. You got a whole like two minute speech. And then after that, the Wither will transform to the Servant of uh, Inalus, and it will get dark, and will start to rain. Now, this guy is no slouch at all. Let's see if we get some Iron Golems here, right? And this Wither will now attack and kill things aimlessly. Not even the Iron Golems wants to mess with this dude. I know one person, though. I know one person who will. I know one person who was going to mess with this guy. And probably ruin his day. Alright. The Warden. The Warden is for sure going to ruin his day. Alright, there goes the Warden. Oh wow, his health is going down a lot. Yo! Oh, you guys, you guys seen that? Yo! But yeah, the Wither has a custom move set and custom moves and everything. The Wither will go crazy. Okay. The Warden has a health bar, I, I guess. Oh, that's the Warden. That's the Iron Golem guy here. Okay. Yeah, I think the Warden wins this. Nothing is being the Warden. Oh my god, that's so insane. Come on, do your other move. Do your other move. He has more moves he can do. There's that one. There's a move where he shoots out like little black rods at you. Let's see if he's gonna do it. The warden still solos. The warden literally solos everything. Come on, do that one move. Jump up in the sky. Wait, the warden might lose. Wait. Wait, the warden might actually lose. Come on. Come on. Come on, Wither. The Warden has been undefeated for too long. Oh no! Alright guys, here is what's supposed to happen when you beat the Wither. He doesn't just disappear. This happens. You beat him, and then he starts talking like this. He falls down. Look at that. All sad. Ooh, the thunder gives it a cool, nice little cool effect, too. Look at 
because we're the only ones, we're the only players in the game. And then after he dies, and then the weather is getting cleared up. Look at that. Look at how cool that is. All right, my Legion, that is it for this add-on Shikis review. If you guys did like and enjoy this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I am trying to hit 20K before the end of April. And if that happens, I'd be highly appreciated. And guys, the giveaway is still going on. If I can get 100 likes on any video during the month of April, I'll do a giveaway for a $10 card of your choice. But anyways, Crispy Legion, we're united. See you guys in the next one. Laters.